What's up, my fellow crypto knots? I hope the crypto verse is doing uh, what? Blah blah. I hope there's no black holes that you've encountered in the crypto verse. <laughs> Stay away from the center of galaxies. Okay, so if I don't stutter too much, I'll try to make a video. I've tried to make this video a couple times. I'm gonna do a trading challenge. My last video, I was talking about. I could get real intricate. I, I was bragging. I mean, a humble brag, but there's a reason I'm making this video is because I want to share this chart, my charting, my charting observations I've made. I have not seen anyone do anything like this before. And I've tried to make this video a couple of times and I have this habit of always thinking about there's new people watching and they, they don't know what I'm talking about. And I start explaining and it's too much to explain. I made a video, my last video, I went like almost an hour and a half talking about this. I, it's a long video, but I do suggest you go watch that. And I'm not just trying to make money off the ads. I want you to watch it because it's, uh, I'm starting to talk right now. Right? I just started trying to explain it because <laughs> it's a lot of info. And if you're new, you, you're not going to really understand this right and to begin with. Anyways, it's a lot to soak in. So with that being said, if you don't understand something here, just let it go and, and just go just, just just keep listening and just keep coming back because it will work if you work it. <laughs> um, now, I'm not trying to get people into day trading or leverage trading because if you knew, you probably will get your butt handed to you. Um, so I'm starting to talk again to the new people. Look at this. I just can't help myself. Anyways, my last video I was talking about this is you know, I don't have time to get intricate and day trade and uh, but you know I'm really I'm really proud and I'm really I'm really proud of myself for uh, making this chart right and so but then I was like well I mean you know what? I'll just go ahead and take a couple days off right now 48 72 hour challenge and, and I'll go over on another account I funded and I'll see I'll start with like 360 bucks and I'll see how I do and uh, anyways this is a swing trade long term stuff here that that I could go out and work and, and just keep an eye on my smartphone because I don't I couldn't do this on a smartphone. This is a daily chart macro type pattern. But anyways, this looks bad. This long I have here is it's, it's not I've taken profit many times on a long and a short. I'm long and a short and at the same time, you know, I've taken profit. So that's, it's not down that much. And I, I want I wanted to get stuck in a long. I'm, I'm literally trying to get stuck in positions while I'm shorting and longing at the same time. And it's, it's a lot to explain. So I'm just going to shut up. Just go watch my other video, link in the description before I keep talking more. I'm going to go over to my other account here on Femix. You can see the short on it. The last one I had was in profit now. And uh, I saw a thumbnail accidentally on YouTube when I was watching YouTube on my homepage. I saw a thumbnail about ETFs approved in Hong Kong, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Oh, excuse me. Um, I didn't want to see that. I saw it like an hour and a half ago. <laughs> I opened this trade about four hours ago or so, five hours ago. And uh, it's a short. And so my last video, let's let's go to the let's go to the big screen. See, I couldn't do this. I can't do this on a smartphone. So, you know, I was saying I don't have time to to to, to intricate to trade intricately like this chart, like I was talking about last video. I would need to have time to just sit here and and is this is it possible if you don't have time you'll make a mistake and then this is you know i just go out the window man but uh okay so how is a good way to explain this <laughs> let's just go like this um i just i want to start at the beginning start explaining stuff but go watch my last video just do that. So everything to the left of this triangle, my left of my cursor, that yellow is a triangle where Bitcoin in the near past broke out of. And so I learned to, to do, I learned all this charting stuff and from watching other YouTube channels. And I've never seen anyone do anything like this. It's just kind of something I seem to have seen. Just It's just observations. And so what I've done here is after that triangle broke out, the yellow triangle to the left of my cursor, all I did was extend the, uh, let's get this in the screen so you can see. All I did was extend the, the yellow, the two yellow lines, right? Just down and up. And 
immediately after the breakout came back down. The the support for the triangle is now the support of this ascending channel, the marked in red, and just just literally just rode that thing up. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Now it, it got stuck in this other channel here and broke down out of that channel. And then off the yellow line, blah, 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 and it broke down out of the bigger red channel. And then boom, basically right off this yellow line, right? <laughs> That's the yellow previous resistance from the uh, triangle right now support and then boom that's broken and so i was talking about this in my last video right here literally while i was talking about this yellow line becoming support this little sucker right here bounced directly it's like a dollar or two underneath but directly off there right there just boom while i was making a video and uh so i kind of got psyched up about that and then you know, i was talking about this uh blue dotted line in the middle of this channel going down and see, I'm starting to explain stuff again. Whoops, I didn't want to move it. I'm starting to explain stuff again, man. I just, I need to uh, learn how to make. Maybe I should get an outline, but but uh, it's hard. It's hard to it's hard to just make stuff, and then think about new people watching. And, but I can't blabber face to everyone. Anyways, what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna take these red channels out. And I have noticed these channels; they're just all over the place. I mean, you might not really see anything in there. It's basically just an experience thing. And you know, if you don't know what to look for, you're not gonna see it anyways. But what you do, what I do is I just I just use this channel tool. And uh, so you so you can see, it'll be like the tops, tops of candles, the bodies, top um, candle bodies and the wicks or, or the bottom. What you wanna look for is just obviously, you know, if a, de a descending channel will be going lower highs and lower lows, it'll be pointing down to the right. and and an SND one will be uh, higher highs and higher lows. So I just, I think I see something and all I do is, so originally you can't really see something in here on, on the wicks and it doesn't really look like a, a, a any, there's no parallel channel in there. Where's a the parallel channel in there? So maybe I'll, I'll heighten, heighten it a little bit. And oops, I didn't mean to draw there. And uh, so this is valuable information, man. I'll, I'll just go ahead and yammer to you. Um, you should watch this, man, because because uh, it's just good, man. I'm going to show you the trade I just entered. It's, it's a huge profit. I'm starting with like 360 bucks, and I'll go for a couple of days, two or three days, and see what happens. But uh, I, don't want the, I don't want the parallel channel. And so you can't see anything. What I'm looking at is this area here. You know, it's a consolidation. And this is basically the look that a channel will have. Um, there's not much, there's not much uh, incline or decline to it. But... I can't really see anything there, but except for these three red candles here, this red candle, this red candle, and this red candle. And so that's, I think, you know, I thought I saw something there, but I'm never really positive until, so I turned my, turned my magnet on and I put it here and I lock on the bottom of that, that candle body right there. And usually it's, it's candle body to candle body in this. And then, uh, uh, it's this is really fascinating. I'm fascinated by how this works. <laughs> um, I really like talking about this stuff. If you can't tell, so you can see the three red candles that I just connected. Let's let's zoom out a little bit. Put a little more vision on this. Okay, and then go like that, and then and then I go up here and I'll see. I'll see. I'll just look and see what matches. Right. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, just as long as there's like the the bottom of that one has three data points. There's got to be a few data points. They say three, and I agree with that. There's usually a lot more than three, and uh, so and I look right. Is there is there anything that, that correlates up here? Well, look at that. <laughs> Those four wicks right there, are just about perfect. And this it just happens over and over and over and over and over and over. So I've decided. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and take some time. And uh, you know, last video I was kind of kind of talking. So I'm gonna put some money where my mouth is. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what happens. So there it is. Boom. Look. See that? And then, uh, so about four hours ago, these, these candles were not here. These, these like five candles here were not here. And so I thought maybe, I saw, I saw the breakdown from up here, right? It, it bounced off this yellow line again, and that's what led to that pump, right? To 66,800. And I would go out on a limb and say, you could probably watch every channel, every video on YouTube, analysis video. I'm going to go out on a limb and I must say that you will not see any video 
outside of maybe Fibonacci extensions, uh, which I don't even use because Fibonacci is basically creating what I'm doing. So, but anyways, uh, uh, turn my magnet off. This this one right here, this this bounced off my support line directly again, right? And so that kind of got me jazzed up. And my last video got me jazzed up, and so I figured let's give her a try. And that look at that that thing bounced from sixty three thousand three hundred. Off of a now, mind you, that's a that's a support line from way back here, a triangle that broke out on April sixth, and now it bounces off support on April fourteenth, and leads to a three thousand five hundred dollar pump in a matter of eight or nine hours. So that's pretty cool, man. I'm gonna go out on a limb and I'm gonna say. And I'm not doing this. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm better or anything. I'm literally making these videos to to share it with you, because I do believe it's unique. There's probably someone out there, you know. And there's probably there's a lot of things that happen that I'm not even looking at, you know. And maybe I'll run into them eventually here. But anyways, so in the time scale, uh, we, it was Bitcoin was uh, Bitcoin was right up here on this candle here. This candle was just right up here at this level, about 64.5. And and I started looking and I said, well, you know, if it, it looks, it's dumping, right? It's dumping from that just that recent high and the yellow line's in play, right? And so it's just uh, a lot of stuff here, man, that that uh, you just got to know. And it's, so it's hard for me to talk about. And I'm trying to talk to the brand new people again. Some, I have some hang up about trying to help new people. <laughs> uh, it's really not like to just make this video, I suppose. But so I started looking, and I was thinking maybe I could find a channel that would that would line up parallel with that yellow line, and it didn't at first. So I thought, well, this might maybe not be that good. But so this is this is that channel. I'm just extending that channel. I just showed you how I draw that in there, and uh, let's see. Uh, on my last video, I noticed on the, the, the I think because I'm using a big screen TV as my monitor for my laptop. Sometimes, sometimes lines will move, and I don't know. I think it's an issue with my television hooked up to my laptop. So sometimes, if you see one of my lines get kind of kooky, <laughs> that that could be happening. It was a yellow triangle line on a daily chart. My last video is weird. I didn't see it until after I published. Okay, so Bitcoin was here where I've circled, and uh, oh, another thing, almost all the time when I when I find parallel channels, there will also be another parallel channel in there. So what I'll do is I'll just go to the exact same, just like I drew the last one in, and this happens just over and over and over. And these things are on the one-minute chart to the daily chart. And when they're on the oh, dang it, when they're on the daily chart, um, that's you know more of a macro deal. So those this is basically a daily chart. I'm just on an hour showing you the intricate detail, and my kaleidoscope effect happens on the daily chart when i zoom out it just it just morphs it just goes into just just new pattern after new pattern after new pattern so anyways as you can see this is the new pattern and i didn't you know i just published that last video less than 24 hours ago it's just non-stop just non-stop so if you miss a trade you know if you if you are a trader and you miss one of these just just wait for the next one because it's coming right around the corner immediately anyways okay so just the same, same drew on the same same spot, and then look at this. What I do is I just look for uh, more. I'll just look for you know if I think I see something, I will look, and maybe it's not there. And and that's, lots of times I don't even really see it. So this tool helps. I, I wasn't sure if this was actually a pattern, and then I you know I, this is this isn't perfect here, but right about in uh, this ballpark here or so is is another one. Just on the top there. See, I got I'm using this wick that candle body close to that candle body and then uh, it's just and then this wick here and actually i could extend it that's a that's a habit uh, uh, you can extend these to the left sometimes too so that i don't even see see that's pretty see i could even go out to that candle there look at it see that <laughs> so that's interesting matter of fact i'll just leave it right there that's pretty cool i didn't see that earlier it doesn't matter but there it is and i just know that's a valid as soon as i as soon as i get that first first little click on there on the on the top bottom or top if, when they click together i mean it's just obvious man but uh, okay so then almost every time not all the time 
there'll be a second channel. So mind you, now I open this trade I'm about to show you. I can't show my trade on the bottom of the screen while I'm on the on the big screen. And the actual trading screen doesn't show enough detail to make a video. So this red line here across the top, this is my position up here. Actually, right right below that circle is where I where I, basically right in that circle is where I shorted. Cause I just thought, right, because my last video, I was saying, you know, I could if if I had time, I could do this, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, put my money where my mouth is. Let's let's give it a try. Take some time off. Let's do it and see what happens. So I put that trade in, and you know, this is obviously a downtrend. <laughs> and this is a common structure. It's a lot of experience. This is a common structure. When Bitcoin pumps, lots of times it just immediately comes basically right back down to where it was. Not always, but... But when you see it pump and start coming back down like that, well, then that might be happening. And that's basically what happened. And it's actually coming down further. So, you know, I knew this yellow line was support. And now I've got this little red descending channel in here is support as well. And I didn't know if it was going to bounce off here or not. Right. So it bounced a little bit off the top. And then and it, I just sat here and watched. And then it came down here to the second support line, a little channel. I mean, it's basically the same channel. But I've noticed... All, all four of the red lines, or all three of the red lines on that channel are, are definitely in play as support and resistance when it goes up and down. And the two dotted blue lines in the middle of each one, they're a little different from each other. Those both also are very much in play. I'm not going to do it right now. It's not really something I do. But if I went down like the five-minute chart, I would, I would be willing to bet you that there's lots of interaction on both of those dotted lines. As a matter of fact, now that I said that, let's let's see let's see if i'm right about that let's just see if there's bounces and resistance okay there's one basically one two this is the five minute candles uh there, there's one that closed on it opened on it and then there's one at the top top blue line is uh support right right before that i should have said the bottom like blue line is support it goes through it comes back down the top dotted blue line is support uh it comes down here and then it comes back. Look at it, it comes back up. Top blue line support. Top bottom support support. Uh, the bottom dotted blue line support comes back up. It's, it's, I didn't even look at this five minute chart, but it just it happens over and over and over and over and over. And uh, there it is, right? And then boom, and it looks like right now this green this green candle. Like see this one resistance off the dotted blue line. This candle here, maybe maybe it pumps all the way up to the top. I don't know. All four of those lines there, the two red and the two dotted blue, are resistance. And I wouldn't be surprised if it just shut down right there. But it's kind of at the bottom. You know, maybe it comes up to this next one or up here. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to do anything. But it's just it's it's a real good just frame of reference to watch. Obviously, you know, I didn't even look at the five minute chart. I just did that because I, I just said something on the video. So let's let's see if I'm right. Okay, so. Back on the hourly chart here, I entered that trade. Let's leave a circle there. This I, I saw this. Why why I entered this trade here? Why, why I thought it looked good? Right, it's in a down chain, of course. And down below, there's lots of support on my chart. That's where the support's at, right? Support doesn't come into play until the two red lines, the two dotted blue lines, the yellow line, and the red line on bottom, right? All those will be support on the way down, and so. Up here, it's just kind of hanging out. You know, it's dumping. And what's it dumping to? Well, on my chart, there. You know, and that's the thing. Is this yellow line of support just out of just if you know, <laughs> just out of nowhere? You know, just out of, literally out of nowhere. It's actually a triangle from ten days ago or whatever. But if you just seen this, you'd be like, that's not a support. You just you know, it looks like it's just randomly drawn in there. But but uh, it's it's really interesting, man. So. I hope that someone out there is going to get something out of this. And I don't really know how to make videos about this because I'm kind of new at making trading videos. But if I'm seeing it this good, man, maybe I should just sit here for a couple of months and see what I can do. <laughs> um, I entered this trade because up here, um, the dotted blue line in that big, giant, green ascend, uh, descending channel, this is the dotted blue line there, just following the cursor down. So I watched that, and in my last video, I was talking about that. This this was all resistance, resistance. 
you know, about 12 hours of hourly candles, that dotted blue line. See that in there? That's heavy, you know, just resistance, resistance, resistance. I mean, it goes a little bit above it, right? So obviously probably what's going to happen down here. When I saw it start dumping, I shorted here because I figured this dotted blue line, if it went below that dotted blue line, that would probably be a good spot to try to short. And what do you know, it, it, that dotted blue line failed as support. Again, just like the previous two, just like these 12 or so over here. See that? See that? And so I went for it and I placed that order, went in and immediately went down. And I put my, this blue line here is my stop loss. And I've kind of been moving that around. So uh, Femex has this new feature. If I set my cursor here, that's, that's where the price of Bitcoin is at now. So if you look over to the right, I'm up $78. This is, I only have $360 in here. But um, so as you can see, I'm not I was really that great at, at uh, making videos in this. I'll probably get better for you. I do apologize for kind of taking a long time. I want, I want to do a good job for you. And uh, I'll probably start. Well, I don't know. Anyways, there it is. Uh, I like to show people what's going on. I just, I don't know. I've never seen anyone in, in all, the, all the time I watched and everything I've looked at on the internet and videos I watched about technical analysis. I've, I've never seen anything like this. And it's just, it's just working so perfect. It's almost hard for me to believe that I'm actually doing this. So I'll make a video about it. And I do apologize if, if I'm not that good at explaining it and I will try to get better. But anyways, okay, so it's a $357 trade I'm in for. Over here on the left, it's 10X and that's kind of a lot of leverage, but you know, this is just gonna be an in and out trade unless, unless Bitcoin really starts dumping hard, you know, I'll just follow it down with my stop loss anyways. But Okay, so right, this is where you use a stop loss. I'm not using a stop loss on my other swing trades. Right? I'm just letting the short and, and the long position I put in that's while they run together. They're just kind of hedging each other. And the main thing on that other trade I showed it started showed at the start of the video is don't get liquidated, <laughs> right? Take profit on one and you know, then don't get liquidated on the other and just keep taking profit on profit. And I'll see how that goes. Um, that's how Wall Street in a nutshell never never loses. They're always hedging with, you know, and, and probably long and short, and then they got all kinds of different products they can buy and futures and options and, you know, just a, just a big mess of stuff. They don't care if the price goes up or down. It does not matter. And I, that's that's something that occurred to me, you know, fairly recently. It, it, <laughs> but uh, this is different. So I'm day trading here. And uh, lot, day traders, uh, you know, they say 90, 95% of day traders will lose. They'll, they'll never make any money. I totally disagree with that. What the truth is, is 90, 95% of people that will try to day trade will lose. That's, that's without a doubt, sure. It's probably even more, but they're not day traders, right? <laughs> they will not make it. They lose. That, that stat's probably really skewed because as you develop a system, I, I don't see how you can really not win. So uh, let me show this. And, you know, I don't want to turn new people into traders because this is a lot of experience and, and just observation and understanding. And if you don't have it, you, you will lose if you try. So uh, I, I guess what I'm saying is just <laughs> if you're going to try this and you're brand new, just uh, use a little tiny bit of money. Do not stick a bunch of money in here. If you're not, if you're not, don't have a few years experience, do not, do not do that on leverage. Just buy on a spot market and just be happy. And, uh, you know, maybe play, you know, maybe take a hundred bucks and, and just stick it in. Cause if you're going to be successful, you're going to be successful. It really doesn't matter what you start with. Right. So therefore don't, don't do anything stupid because this is a highly volatile market. And, uh, okay. So I'm talking to new people again. Don't, don't do anything stupid. And, and, uh, but at the same time, I need to show this because, you know, there are experienced people watching. So, you know, anyways, it's hard to make a video for everyone. It's basically impossible. Anyways, so uh, basically explaining everything. It, immediately, I went down here, put the stop loss in. Um, so in essence, what I did is, right, this red line, this red line here, 64400 is my entry price. 
the blue line is where my stop loss is now. And so I can move this blue line all the way down here. This is my stop loss. I can move it all the way down here right now if I want. Look at it. Boom. Boom. Look at it. Moved it all the way down there. So if I just leave it there and say I had to go to work and I just put my stop loss there and just let it run, you know, the worst I could do is, is, uh, I was going to say win, <laughs> win $61. That's basically what it is. Win. Uh, I would, I would gain $61 profit, whatever that word is. That's the first time I ever said win. And that's probably a good sign because that's what this is. It's just a game. It's a game and a circus. And I've learned that that's, it's really nothing more than that. And, uh, it's a game and a circus and you were winners and losers and you're just taking other people's money. And, and uh, I didn't, I, I've always kind of had a problem with that to be, be honest with you, but at the same time, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It, it's a game. It's a game and a circus. So either treat it like that or just don't do it, I guess is the point. So, um, I don't know. Everyone's trying to take your money. That's, that's what this is. If you're not okay with that, then do not do this. Right? They should make people. Every, they should make everyone sign that. <laughs> um, let's go to the big screen. As soon as as soon as this came down into this red channel, I knew it would probably get stuck down in there. Because why? Because back here in the red channel, right, the the blue dotted line was initially where I have that circle was the resistance, and then and then you can see this red channel. Both these red channels. You can see their resistance as well. See that? I circled the wrong spot right through here, right? Not, it's not just the blue line now. It's also the red channels on the candle wicks and the candle bodies. So I figured once, and this is just experience. It's experience, and I'll share it with you. It came down, right? As soon as I saw this one here, the, the initial hour where I got in, I had my stop loss way up here at the top for like, if it, if it came back up, I'd just break even. I'd, I would have lost like, I would have won like two cents. And, you know, it was impossible to lose because I was using a stop loss, use a stop loss. And uh, I probably gave the wrong impression on my last video to some people. And uh, it was a totally different style of trading here. And I've never really done this all the time. I've been making videos. So it's, uh, I think it's time to do it now. The next candle opened and I saw it dive way back down into this red channel. And that's when I knew this was going to probably be a really good trade because I figured as soon as it got into the channel, it would get stuck there. And why, why did I think it would get stuck there? Well, because this, you see this, and that's, that's a habit. It's a pretty good habit. I don't know if habit's the right word, but Bitcoin, when it does something over here and you have, like I talked about earlier, this big pump up and lots of times it just comes to basically that big pump is just all immediately taken right out. Right. That's basically a pump and dump. Somebody somewhere made a lot of money and uh, or somebody's somewhere. And, and I'm not so sure if some of this isn't, I'll just all be run by automated computers. And maybe that's sometimes this, all this observations I make, I, I don't know if this would have been, if I could, if you could do this 50 years ago, I just don't know. And, and uh, I mean, Bitcoin, I, I don't have any experience outside of Bitcoin like this. And so anyways, right. And then look at that, that you know, the next candle that came to fruition, right? Well, actually, this is the first big red candle closed down there. As soon as, as soon as it came down there and closed, I figured it'd get stuck. And not only did it, get, it came way out the bottom, and I thought maybe, oh boy, I thought maybe we're really dumping down hard, like sixty thousand. You know, it's gonna be a huge, huge gainer. You know, hundred percent probably, maybe or more if it keeps going. And but then it popped back up, and I knew most likely it was stuck. Right? Just just from experience, sitting here watching. I can't, I, it's really weird how long I've just sat and watched and haven't tried to, you know, take advantage of it. It's almost like something just suddenly clicked in me. Like, oh, you know, and, and sometimes I think that's what's happening is you, you, like I just earlier I said, if you're new to this, is you're not going to, you know, you're not going to understand none of this. So if you don't understand something, just don't worry about it. Just go on and just keep listening and, and keep coming back. It, it, it'll work if you work it. Right. <laughs> and uh, I think that's exactly the laugh I gave when I said that. And I think that's true for myself. And I just realized that, um, I think just here recently, I guess I took a long break. I wanted to refresh my mind for those of you that might've watched that around the Super Bowl. I said, you know, I'm gonna come back after the Super Bowl, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, 
I refreshed my mind for quite a while. I just didn't want nothing to do with this. The, you know, I wanted to stop looking at thumbnails and, and titles on YouTube because it really screws up my mind. It'll screw up your mind too. You might not even know it. And uh, anyways, maybe that's what's happened. Just just to refresh, and, and now I'm seeing this really well. And it feels like, you know, I, I've I just it just dawned on me. I, I just it just really dawned on me that that I've learned a lot, and. I, I knew, I, I knew, I knew this was going to get stuck in the red channel as soon as this big red one here came down here and closed. I mean, I, I knew about, you know, shortly before it closed because you know, the chances of it coming way back up were pretty small. And because uh, now the, the, all these, all these support lines, it breaks through. Now that's resistance, right? You know, that's just how this works. And so um, I'm getting long winded, but I do appreciate you guys sitting here watching and uh eventually you know i can probably start talking but there's always gonna be new people and i always want to talk to the new people <laughs> hi new people so uh if you're new comment leave me a comment down this comment section okay so stuck i knew it was gonna get stuck that's what i was saying when it dawned on me that i've i've just basically learned a lot of stuff and now it's kind of clicking i knew i knew it was gonna get stuck now i say i knew it was i knew it was but you know what i mean by that was you know, 90%, 90% sure, you know, I knew it, I knew it, you know, and if it didn't, you know, I had this blue lines, my, my, my stop loss. And I set that immediately, immediately I set the stop loss. So the worst thing that could happen is, is, you know, I make a little money if it pumps up. Oh, well, but I, I figured it was good. Right. And there it is. It's just came to fruition. It's, it's about, you know, that, that hourly just candle just opened. So it's been stuck in there. One, two, three, four hourly candles have closed and, Look at that, the new one just opened, and look at that hard dump. Look at that dump, dumpy, dumpy doodah. And uh, so where the green one closed, the green, see the green one failed basically the red line here. I mean, it's kind of in between, but you can see, you can see what I'm talking about. The hourly wick right off the top of the channel here. Hourly wick right off the top of the channel here. This one here, kind of kind of close to the yellow and red line down here. Just, I mean, if I, if I zoom way out, you wouldn't even be able to see there's a wick under there barely. And, uh, just right there, right? And uh, so now see the red one's open. Let's put some height on this and zoom in. See that red one just opened? See that it just opened right here at this level? And, and it started dumping. And look look where it just bounced, right? You know, basically, it's right on the dotted line right now. And let's just see what happens here. This is kind of like the last video. So I'm going to guess that, that it'll stop at this blue dotted blue line or in the general vicinity of here. At about sixty-two thousand six hundred and about sixty-two thousand seven hundred and eight <laughs> would be the lowest this will go. And if it wicks through down through there, it'll probably come right back up. And uh, you know, maybe it stops here at the dotted blue line at sixty-three thousand zero zero six. It doesn't have to do none of that. This is, this is what I'm looking at. You know, maybe it just, it, this one looks like it's going to come down further, just obviously, because it's doing it right in front of my face. And uh, so if it, if, it, if it reversed and this one turned, started pumping and it turned green, I would look for a re rejection, obviously, at this red line, 63,305. And then if, that, if it goes past there, I'd look at 63,544. And, uh, you know, if it broke up uh, out of this channel and, and closed, I would look to see if it's going to be, if, this, if, it if it turned green and closed like right up here, if it closed outside the channel, I would look to see if it's going to go higher, maybe look for the retest. And, you know, if, it's, if it breaks out of this to the upside, how you measure these uh, channels, the you hear people talking about the target. And, and uh, what you do is you just take the height of the channel. So I don't need a measuring tool. I just use my eyes. That's 62,028 and just call it 62,000. And the top of the channel, 62,900. It's a $900 target. That's how you do that. $900 target for the, for the entire support and top resistance, 900. So, you know, they say, and I don't see it happen a ton, but on, from what I've, my experience on channels, but I mean, it's, it's in that ballpark. It, the breakout target would be 900. So say if it broke out here, 
63,400. That would be uh, 64,300. That would be 64,300 would be right about here. Just, just shy of where I entered my short, right? <laughs> so, uh, I just, I, I, that, that's not really when I say targets and stuff that I've never really seen any, any real, uh, information observation of that being anything to really watch. It's just something to talk about. It's, it's just a general theme of the power of the pattern. You know, that's a $900 target, you know, just in perspective, the big green one, the big green macro one is 12,500 and that sucker might end up starting the pump for Bitcoin when it does go up to 80, 90, 100,000, whenever that's going to occur. You know, it's just, for me, it's a mainly a perspective thing. And, uh, there it is. It's just, it's just, uh, doing a little consolidating. And, uh, so for now, like, you know, say, uh, had to do something or later tonight and go to bed. And I guess this trade's still open. This is my blue line. I just dragged down. This is the stop loss. So if Bitcoin, uh, you know, I could put it like right down here. Like, like a good spot to put this would be like above, right, right, right there. Not a bad spot. Above, see, see how I'm looking at it. It's above this wick, these two wicks. It's above those two wicks. It's above the top red resistance, right? So, you know, if Bitcoin remains stuck in here. You know, I'm not going to get stopped out if it pumps up here. And, uh, you know, maybe, you know, if Bitcoin continues to dump like it's doing right now on video, I can move the stop loss all down here, you know, later tonight. You know, it just depends on, it just depends on what happens, right? But that's good, you know. I could go, I could settle for that, you know. Worst possible case, I go to sleep later. And the profit on that would be, it'll pop up on the right, maybe $39, right? So, put it down here that would be you know a profit of fifty nine dollars so let's go see let's, where do I want that guy at let's put it back up here huh. for now okay I'll get better at making these videos folks and uh that's a lot to talk about. It's a lot to talk about. See, see how small the screen is on the trading. I mean, it's fine for me. I'm on a 55 inch monitor, but like on a smartphone, this is impossible for, for me to do on a smartphone. It's literally impossible. So that, that's why I was saying I can't do the intricate stuff while I'm out working, but, uh, uh, set up seven, eight bucks. I'm up 21% on that trade. That's not, that's not bad. And this happens over and over and over. Just over and over and over and over. You know, I, you know what? That's interesting. So let's let's end this video. And my last video, I didn't show it. I just talked about it. How how to find these parallel channels? I just gave you one example. And that's that's not really an easy one to see. I just have been doing this so long. I could just tell that it was there. So let's go on an hourly chart. And so basically, what it is is they're they kind of on an hourly chart, the small ones, if, if you kind of zoom out, they'll kind of just look like little tight. I don't know what you want to call it. They'll just little, they're consolidations. And if you zoom out, they, you can sometimes see them better. Sometimes you just zoom in, but like I can see a bunch of them right now. So, you know, the new person or even an experienced person that hasn't really been looking into this, you might not see anything really there, but I can just tell you, and you know they don't have to always be perfect, but I can tell you there's basically one. Just just looking at and they're all they're all over the place on this chart. I just don't have a mark. Like there's like one here. Oh, I gotta zoom in to get to the data points, but there's like one here. So you can just it's here. It's just it's kind of there. Boom. Whoops. Ah, uh, shoot. I, I got like it's too small. Stupid. And, uh, there to uh where was that sucker basically in that park now this isn't this isn't a great one it's not a great one but uh let's let's go back out it's, there's one there so you now zoom out you see, now you can see see how it's all tightened up it's, it's they're little they're basically just little consolidations with, that are angled 
right? And there's there's kind of a you know uh, there's, there's 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 all over the place, man. This one over, I, I've been marking my green. This technically this one I'm playing here. I do apologize uh, for video purposes. I need to be consistent. That's actually a downward point one, which is considered bullish. So the breakout from that could likely be to the upside of nine hundred dollar pump. Like I said, now it can break down. That. I'd say about 55, 45% accuracy. <laughs> it's basically a coin flip. Um, except for this big green macro one. Eventually, it, it'll go up eventually. I don't know if it hit its target. But, um, so, okay, here's one. You know, but give or take, there's one right here. It's the top of there. Uh, no, but basically, in this ballpark, and they don't have to be totally perfect. But... but uh, this one kind of here, see that? That guy in that bar park, and uh, uh, let's mark some more. Let's see, uh, there's, there's this one here. See that, that, that one there's kind of a little skinny red one going up. And let's not mark it anymore. I'll just point some more out. Um, a lot of them are close. Um, let's see, let's take some of the height off. A lot of them are close. There's one kind of. There's kind of a little guy, uh, kind of a kind of one. That's not. They're not great, but. I says over and over. I just want to show you it's over and over. It's, it's kind of there. It's not good. And uh, if you want to go down, get super technical. Well, that data point don't count. There. It's just you're just right there. But you know, and I mean, it's just there's all over. There's there's kind of one here. There's kind of one there, and you know, it's kind of actually kind of there that comes back in resistance later. There's one. Let's, Uh, uh, there's kind of one there and there and then there, here's another one this will be a red one just kind of in this ballpark here somewhere let's not get let's, let's, there we go there's kind of one there that guy's red that guy's a red one and uh this is so on and so forth right <laughs> all over the place you know, initially I saw this one here before I entered the trade and this technically, I mean, it's still the same channel. I just came back into it, but right. It just goes right back in. You know, I pumped, pumped and dumped and it's just, it's, it's channel time again. Whoops. That was supposed to be a, it's channel time again. Right. Just, you know, it's, you, it's just, you know, it's another channel. It just goes right back. It's, it happens to be the same channel. And, uh, you know, this just happens over and over. So, you know, if it's happening over and over and I'm seeing it, you know, let's take it down, you know, and uh, come back and watch my next video. So I'll talk to you later. Hope you enjoy it and uh, have a good day.